comes Jake the Spider. Some people think that spiders are insects, but that's not true. Spiders are actually members of the arachnid family. Oh dear, Jake. It looks like you're limping on one of your legs. What happened? That sounds like a nasty fall. Let me take a look at that for you. Robbo, I think we need to take an x-ray of one of Jake's legs. One x-ray coming right up. Spiders don't have bones like you and me. They are arthropods, which means their skeleton is on the outside. This is called an exoskeleton. If you look, you can clearly see here that poor Jake has broken one of his legs. I think we need to put that leg in a cast, which will give it the support it needs whilst it heals. Whilst Robbo is putting Jake's cast on, shall we count how many legs Jake has? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. All spiders have eight legs. That's you all fixed, Jake. Now don't climb any walls or water spouts for two weeks and try to get plenty of rest. My next patient is Joe. He is a stick insect. Stick insects are some of the best creatures on the planet at camouflaging themselves. Camouflage is a way certain animals can blend in with their surroundings. It's a way of hiding from animals that might want to eat them. Joe? Are you there? I'm sorry, but I can't see you. Robbo, can you try and spot Joe? I don't think he's in there. I'm having trouble spotting Joe, Dr Poppy. Oh, there you are, Joe. Why are you sad? Oh dear, oh dear, Joe. You're sad because you're sick of being ignored by people. Listen, Joe, it's not that we don't like you. We just don't see you. Wear these clothes and coat of many colours. Then we can see you. Don't go hiding in the trees no more. Or crawl through the bushes on the forest floor. You can wear these anytime you want to And we will see you Yes, we can see you Wow, look at that outfit, Joe. You look fantastic You really stand out I love the jacket It's a perfect fit You look amazing Orange, purple, blue and red and yellow They're all here for you Wear these clothes and coat of many colours we can see you Once you know about the friends you have You'll forget you ever felt so sad You can wear these anytime you want to And we will see you Yes, we can see you That looks so cool! Do you feel better now, Joe? And yes, we can see you! Here comes Twinkle, the robin. You can tell a robin by their beautiful red feathers on their front. Sometimes they're called robin redbreasts and can be heard singing in your garden on Christmas Day. Twinkle, what seems to be the problem? Twinkle, I can't hear you. Have you lost your voice? May I have a quick look at your throat, please? Robins and other types of birds sing as a way of speaking to one another, just like humans do by talking. 
Yes, Twinkle. It looks like you've got a sore throat. The best treatment for a sore throat is to wrap up warm, rest up and drink plenty of water. Some of Robbo's special cough syrup will help too. A spoonful of cough syrup coming right up. Here you go, Twinkle. Make sure you take a big gulp. It's important to stay warm out there and get as much rest as possible. Would you look at that? She's already feeling much better. Here's Colin the chameleon. Chameleons are a special type of lizard. And did you know that the tongue of a chameleon can be longer than its entire body? Now then, Colin, what can we do for you? A chameleon has special skin, which means they can change colour to blend in with their background. This is called camouflage. Let's test it out, shall we, Colin? Hey guys, meet Robbo. Hello everyone. Robbo is my friendly robot helper here in the treatment room. That's right. I've got all of the tools that we need to help the animals feel better again. I can even use my tickling stick. <laughs> Robbo, please can you swap the colours of the backgrounds for Colin and we'll see if he can change to the right colour. Red. This is red. But oh dear look, Colin has changed to blue. Yellow. This is yellow. But Colin has changed to red. Green. This is green. But Colin has changed to orange. There's definitely a problem here. Robbo, I think Colin needs to relearn which colours are which. Red, orange, yellow, green Four of the colours of the rainbow Blue, indigo, violet Three more to make the full set So Colin Test you again, Colin. Red. Well done, Colin. We can hardly see you. You're red. Yellow. Excellent work, Colin. You're now yellow. Green. Perfect. You got all three right, Colin. You're now a lovely shade of green. It looks like you're all cured. Here comes Boris the puffer fish. Puffer fish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up please? I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. 
One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks, even if they're buried under deep snow? Welcome, welcome, Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy, Lily. Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Aha! Just as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo, can you fetch the flea vacuum, please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look, they're carrying on with their party. Lily. You are now flea free. Oh, look, here comes Felix at 11 o'clock. Felix, you're an hour late. Tortoises can live for a very long time. Some can live to 150 years old. I think I know what the problem is, Felix. Are you tired of being late for everything? It must be very difficult walking quickly with that big, heavy shell of yours. Do you have any ideas, Robbo? I do have something in mind. Roller skates! Great idea, Robbo. Let's try on this pair of roller skates. Let's try it out, Felix. Try and zoom around the cones. Ready, steady, go! Done, Felix. I don't think you'll be late again. Here comes Cecil the snail. As you've probably guessed, snails like Cecil are very slow movers. In fact, they are one of the slowest creatures on Earth. Oh, poor you, Cecil. You really don't look well at all. A little slime is good for a snail like Cecil as it helps them to move as well as protect them from the sun. But this is just too much slime. It means Cecil can't climb walls. He's just too slippery. I think Cecil may be suffering from a cold. I know how to make you feel better, Cecil, but we're going to need a bit of help from our friend Shane the koala. Robbo... Do you remember Shane was eating eucalyptus leaves before? The oil from eucalyptus leaves can help with runny noses and coughs when you have a cold and should help our friend Cecil here. I think Shane is just leaving the pet rescue centre. I'll go and find him. Thank you so much for popping back, Shane. Now, Cecil, Breathe in some of that precious eucalyptus oil and you'll start feeling better. Hello everyone, I'm Dr Poppy and welcome to my pet rescue centre. 
It's a special hospital just for pets. I'm a vet, so my job is to treat poorly animals and make them better again. Shall we see who's in the waiting room today? Oh look, we have three animals to see today. It's Sarah the cat, Jake the spider and Colin the chameleon. Shall we find out what's the matter with them? Let's welcome our first animal, Sarah the cat. Cats are members of the feline family, which means Sarah here is actually very closely related to lions and tigers. But Sarah's a lot friendlier. Hello Sarah, shall we take a look at you? I promise I'll be gentle. Let's have a look. Sarah, your tummy looks very big. Have you been eating too much? Oh. Hmm, let's have a listen to your heartbeat. Well, listen to that. You have four heartbeats and a large tummy. Does anyone know why Sarah might be feeling unwell? She's pregnant and she's about to give birth. Let's count how many kittens Sarah gives birth to. One, two, three, three. Beautiful kittens. Well done, Sarah. You're a mummy. Here's Colin the chameleon. Chameleons are a special type of lizard. And did you know that the tongue of a chameleon can be longer than its entire body? Now then, Colin, what can we do for you? A chameleon has special skin, which means they can change colour to blend in with their background. This is called camouflage. Let's test it out, shall we, Colin? <whistles> hey guys, meet Robbo. Hello everyone. Robbo is my friendly robot helper here in the treatment room. That's right. I've got all of the tools that we need to help the animals feel better again. I can even use my tickling stick. <laughs> Robbo, please can you swap the colours of the backgrounds for Colin and we'll see if he can change to the right colour. Red. This is red. But oh dear look, Colin has changed to blue. Yellow. This is yellow. But Colin has changed to red. Green. This is green. But Colin has changed to orange. There's definitely a problem here. Robbo, I think Colin needs to relearn which colours are which. Test you again, Colin. 
red. Well done, Colin. We can hardly see you. You're red. Yellow. Excellent work, Colin. You're now yellow. Green. Perfect. You got all three right, Colin. You're now a lovely shade of green. It looks like you're all cured. Fantastic. Here comes Jake the spider. Some people think that spiders are insects, but that's not true. Spiders are actually members of the arachnid family. Oh dear, Jake. It looks like you're limping on one of your legs. What happened? That sounds like a nasty fall. Let me take a look at that for you. Robbo, I think we need to take an x-ray of one of Jake's legs. One x-ray coming right up. Spiders don't have bones like you and me. They are arthropods, which means their skeleton is on the outside. This is called an exoskeleton. If you look, you can clearly see here that poor Jake has broken one of his legs. I think we need to put that leg in a cast, which will give it the support it needs whilst it heals. Whilst Robbo is putting Jake's cast on, shall we count how many legs Jake has? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. All spiders have eight legs. That's you all fixed, Jake. Now don't climb any walls or water spouts for two weeks and try to get plenty of rest. What a fabulous day in the treatment room. See you next time. Bye. Here comes Lucy, the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, 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 Lucy, before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help, Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, A, L spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo. I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. right, Lucy. Ish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? 